All right, since we have made our first fire of the year yesterday and we got all excited about having a fire, so we wrapped up some potatoes and baked them in the fire. Just nestled, we wrapped them in foil and nestled them in the coals underneath the fireplace grate and they baked up delicious and fine. So today we are going to try to make a cobbler in the fireplace. So we got this cast iron bread pan for Christmas, I'm all excited about. And um, I'm gonna just try to make a cobbler in it today while the fire's going anyway. So I'm getting ready to, got a stick of butter in the pan and we're gonna put it in the fireplace and see if it melts the butter. <laughs> and if that works well, then we're going to mix up a cobbler and put it in and bake a cobbler in the fireplace. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to, oh yeah, okay, I'll walk with you. Okay, and I'm just going to set this, ooh, that's a hot fire, and see if it fits, oh, it fits perfectly. Ow, it ought to work great. It's hot in there. All right, so see how long it takes the butter to melt and heat up the pan, and then I'll dump in the cobbler mix in a second. Camera. All right, the butter's melting. Melting really, really fast. I'm afraid it, it looks like it cooks hotter and faster than the oven. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Oh yeah, the downside of doing this in the fireplace, like where we have it, is it's not like cooking on top of a wood stove because there are actual logs and fire and coals and I'm afraid the ashes may actually drop down into the pan. But um, we're just gonna see how it works. If it works well, it'll be great. Little wood ash never hurt anybody. Okay, so we pulled the pan out because the butter was sizzling really hard. I'm going to turn it just to heat the other side. And I guess we'll have to take this out and turn it maybe every 15 minutes because it's really hot. But to make this, you just take a cup of flour, cup of milk, cup of sugar, and this is all-purpose flour, so we added one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And after you have, you melt a half a cup or one stick of butter in your pan, then you just add the flour mixture. on top of the butter, and you don't mix that in or anything, just add it. Okay, and then these are pears that we canned last summer, and you put a cup of pears, or whatever kind of fruit you want to use. You can use peaches, pears, blueberries, whatever you want to use, but I'm using pears, since we have those on hand, and you just add it, sprinkle it on top of your flour mixture. Oops. That's it. Just kind of try to make them evenly distributed, but they'll shift around like they need to while it's cooking. And that's it. We're going to put it right back in front of the fire where it was and just watch it and see if this works. But the pan's really hot for being in there very little time. All right, setting her in. There we go. All right, we're going to watch and turn it around in about 15 minutes. And I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. All right, that's it. Okay, it's been five minutes now, and it's already browned up really well on one side. So I'm going to take it out and turn it around. All right, and put it back in. Okay, and let it go five more minutes and come back. Okay, it's been five more minutes. It looks like it's starting to burn on the top and it's nowhere near done. So we're gonna take it out, turn it around, and cover it with some foil, see how that works. <laughs> Let me put some foil over the top. Kind of tense it a little. Did I turn it around yet? No. Okay. Twist it. Uh, 
Tuck this a little bit up. All right, sticking her back in. Okay, we'll pull it out and look at it again in five more minutes. Okay, it's been about another eight minutes, so we're going to pull it out and look at it and turn it around and see what she looks like. Cover it back up, turn it around, give it a little more time. Top's done, but doesn't look bad. Doesn't look any more <laughs> done than it did a second ago. It's really hot. Alright, turn it around. Put her in another five and look at her again. Okay, it's been another five minutes. So we're going to pull it out and take a look. <laughs> it looks like it's probably good. Let me get a knife and check it. It's close. It's really close. I'm going to let it just sit in this hot pan. Cover it back and let it just sit in the hot pan and see if that doesn't just finish off from the heat of the pan. But it looks really close. When we open it up to eat it, I'll um, come back and show you what it looks like on the inside. But I think it actually worked. This is pretty cool. All right, thanks. All right, it's been sitting for a while. I'm gonna take the lid off. See what she looks like. Oh, I think it worked. I'll be damned. Oh, I'm not supposed to say it. All right, here. <laughs> <laughs> Cooked over. An open fire in the fireplace. Look how pretty. I think it actually worked. Looks like it's cooked all the way through. Beautiful. Dessert from the hearth. <laughs> Pear cobbler over an open flame. Thanks for watching.